assalamu alaikum students of class 6 i hope you are all fine in new oxford modern english book 6 we were on the poem the old brown horse where today we are going to start our exercise with page 25 part c learning about language subject and predicate we have already discussed this topic in detail you can go back to those lectures and revise question related to subject and predicate in this exercise is add suitable predicates to the following to make sentences we have certain subjects below and we need to add suitable predicates to them just remember one thing that subject will be the naming part of the sentence while predicate will have verb or action words and some other words here we have we as a subject we yani hum and the predicate i have added here is are going to the zoo this predicate have action word and rest of the words that follow this action word and a complete sentence will be formed we are going to the zoo that man who is the president is not fit for the seat वो शख्स या वो आदमी जो कि प्रेसिडेंट है इस सीट के लिए या इस नशिस्त के लिए मुनासिब नहीं है सी एन इंजन रनस द कार एक इंजन कार चलाता है द वुमेन विद ग्लासेस इज रीडिंग अ बुक ग्लासेस के साथ खातून एक किताब पढ़ रही हैं द डॉग विदाउट अ टेल इज चेजिंग अ कैट धुम के बगैर डॉग या कुत्ता बिल्ली का पीछा कर रहा है द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ सेंटेंस कंसिस्ट ऑफ नेमिंग वर्ड्स सेंटेंस का सब्जेक्ट नेमिंग वर्ड्स पर मुश्तमिल होता है एंड द प्रेडिकेट इज कंसर्न विद डूइंग और बींग और प्रेडिकेट का ताल्लुक किए जाने वाले काम से होता है द मेन वर्ड इन द सब्जेक्ट इज अ नाउन सब्जेक्ट में मेन वर्ड एक नाउन होता है एंड द मेन वर्ड इन द प्रेडिकेट इज अ वर्ब और प्रेडिकेट में मेन वर्ड एक वर्ब होता है यानी एक्शन वर्ड होता है फॉर एग्जांपल द हैप्पी गर्ल सैंग लाउडली हियर इन दिस सब्जेक्ट गर्ल इज द मेन नाउन वाइल इन द प्रेडिकेट हियर सैंग इज अ मेन वर्ब Question two is underline only the main noun or nouns and the main verb in the following. नीचे दिए गए sentences में main noun or nouns और main verb को underline करना है हमने क्योंकि यहाँ main verb और main noun को underline करना था that's why उनको अलग रखने के लिए I've used different colors. Main verb को मैंने black color से mark किया है जबकि main noun को blue. The boy walked along briskly. Here our main noun is boy while the verb is walked yani chala. His dog followed closely behind. Again main noun is dog aur usko maine blue pen se underline kiya hai jabki followed yani piche chalna is a verb here and I have marked it with the ब्लैक पेन द लॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रिक ट्रेन क्रैश इन टू द बैक ऑफ अ गुड स्ट्रेन हेयर इन दिस नाउन फ्रेज मेन नाउन इज ट्रेन एंड द मेन वर्ब इज क्रैश्ड साइमा एंड अलीना आर प्लेइंग इन द गार्डन हेयर साइमा अलीना बोथ ऑफ दीज नेम्स आर मेन नाउन वाइल आर प्लेइंग इज आर मेन वर्ब वी हर डैम क्राइंग we is a main noun heard is a main verb the elephant has large ears elephant is a main noun or naming word here while has yani rakhta hai is our main verb last sentence is parvez and shahid live in multan again parvez shahid both of these names are main nouns while live is our main verb Here we are done with the exercise from textbook. Now we'll discuss the relative topic from same poem, the old brown horse, in your workbook. P. 
page 16 part a is about subject and predicate and question one is underline the main nouns and circle the main verbs in the following same question we are just done with it was a sunny day it hamara main noun hai yahan par jabke was is our main verb kyunki it yahan pe day yani din ko denote kar raha hai the children huffed and puffed as they rode up the hill on their bicycles. बच्चों को सांस चढ़ा था जैसा कि वो पहाड़ पर अपनी साइकिलों से चढ़े थे, यानी साइकिल पर सवारी करते हुए. Here we are talking about children. So children is our main noun, and huffed and puffed is the main verb. When they got to the top, जब वो उन ऊपर पहुँचे they main noun pahunchna got is a main verb they dismounted again they main noun dismounted niche utre cyclon se so it's a main verb here lay their bicycles on the ground lay rakhi main verb here ghas par apni cycle rakhi and sat on some large rocks beside the Road और सड़क के साथ कुछ बड़े पत्थरों पर बैठे. बैठना sat is a main verb action word here. Far below them they could see a river winding its way past a small village. इनसे बहुत नीचे वो एक दरिया देख सकते थे. एक छोटे गांव से अपना रास्ता बनाता हुआ या मोड़ता हुआ. Again there is a main noun here. Could see is our verb. All the human figures below looked minute. नीचे तमाम इंसान छोटे दिखाई देते थे. Again, in this noun phrase, figure is our main noun. Looked दिखाई देना, main verb here, like tiny toys in a make-believe land. एक अफसानवी जमीन या जगा में छोटे खिलोनों की तरह. So, this is it. All the main nouns are underlined and main verbs are circled here question 2 rewrite the sentences in the box below remember that the verb is part of the predicate the noun performing the action is the sub subject yahan niche hume kuch sentences diye hue hain and we need to rewrite these sentences in the box given below is box mein humne subject verb and everything else mentioned in the sentence humne inko alag alag karna hai First sentence is the children huffed and puffed. Here the subject is children and the verb is huffed, puffed and all the other words which were part of our predicate were the and. They lay their bicycles on the grass. They is a subject. Lay, verb, their bicycles on the grass. Rest of the part of the predicate. Far below them, they could see a river. They, subject, could see, verb or action words. Far below them, a river. Remaining part of the predicate. It was winding its way past a small village. It is a subject, was winding, verb here. Its way past a small village is the part of the predicate along with verb. The human figures looked minute. Figures is a subject, looked, verb here, the human, minute, rest of the part of the predicate. Is tarah se hum sentence ke in hisson ko alag kar sakte hain. That was all from your workbook today. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.